I've come to Leyland Golf Club. I'm going to try speed golf. It's going to suit me. Get around as fast as you can. That's basically me. I do everything at 100 miles an hour. I've only got a few clubs. That's all I need today. It's all about having some fun. It's massive in America, and I want to find out what it's all about. Speed golf is a, a basically a hybrid of running and golf. So you can be great at golf, you can be great at running, you can be bad at both. But ultimately it gives you the chance to blend both into a sport that allows you to play a full round of golf in under 80 minutes or just nine holes in under 40 minutes. So really it gives you loads of your time back but gives you fitness and the fun of golf at the same time. The thing I love about speed golf is one, how long it takes. Um, it's very short and sweet. It also combines the fact of golfing and gym and fitness, which can only be a benefit. So I obviously got approached to do speed golf. I was very skeptical about the idea, having loved the traditional side of the game as a professional, um, but was soon very much converted and loved the game now. So when I became British speed golf champion this year, I was very surprised. I took part in the event because I was the, I was the pro at the club. Um, and now it obviously feels a, a great honour to have it and I'm off to Oregon next year to do the World Championship. I've been playing golf since I was about 10 when I first got my handicap, so I'm expecting to be very worn out at the end of this, but it should be fun. Over you and I think I'll be a better golfer, but I think you'll be able to run faster than me. So obviously with you and being the 400 metre runner, um, Sarah being an England golfer, uh, under 16 level, it's going to be a very interesting combination of how the two go together to create speed golf. Uh, the basic rules all comes down to really the score. So simply you add up your golf score at the end of the round with the time it takes you to complete the round. So if you took 90 shots and it took you 60 minutes, your score would be 150. Within that, there are two or three other little rules to help you speed up. So you can putt with the flag in. If you lose a ball, it's only a one shot penalty and you can drop it very simply on the line that you hit the ball. Uh, other than that, normal golf rules apply, but really it's about speed and fun and getting round. It, it, it's ultimately suitable for, for anyone. At, at one level, you can be a good golfer and it gives you an extra challenge into how you get around the course. At another level, you can be a good runner or just enjoying the fitness aspect and just taking the ball around the golf course. It gives you a completely different challenge. In the States, on the west and the east coast, they've now got lots of leagues and competitions. And that's something we're really trying to introduce here. Lots of uh, midweek competitions, particularly after work or in the evenings, but also in school holidays as well. So the great thing about speed golf, it's, it really gives you your time back. You can turn up at seven o'clock in the evening, play 18 holes and be home in two hours. If you're playing nine holes, you can come here, play in 40 minutes and you'll be home in an hour and a quarter, hour and a half. The, the other great benefit is all about fitness because you don't actually realize you're getting fit. You're running between two miles and four miles, often a bit less around the golf course, but you get, you're not really thinking about fitness as you go because you're just thinking about your next shot and getting round in, in a decent score. Okay, scores are in. Good news and bad news to the Olympian amongst us. Sarah won the golf comprehensively with 43 shots compared to your 67. Time, Ewan smashed it 32 minutes to Sarah's 39, which means combined total, Sarah Jane is the winner today. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. I wasn't really sure what to expect from the speed golf today, but I really enjoyed it and a good run around. It feels good to beat Ewan because he's a really fast runner, but I'm slightly better at golf. <laughs> well, the weather wasn't brilliant, but I've definitely got a sweat on. Didn't though feel like I was exercising in terms of I was just concentrating on hitting that ball, getting to it as quick as I can, recomposing and hitting it again. It was absolutely brilliant. I'm not the best golfer. I got around quite quickly, but I took loads of shots. Doesn't matter though. It was fun. I loved it and I got fit while I was doing it. Speed golf.